everybody. We're so excited to be here with you today. Are we? We are. I, we are. Like, oh my goodness. It's, yes. It's been a little crazy getting to this point. <laughs> yes. It might I look with, a little disheveled here, but... Um, I showed up with my laundry basket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and lots of room for all these goodies. Yes. Yes. Exactly. We are looking forward to showing you guys. We really... We can be lots of fun and funny, but we do have plans to show, show you Absolutely. how to make some great salads today. We're going to be eating fantastic all summer long because mm -hmm. there's no better summer food than salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it gets so, boring and people yes. don't know what to do. Right. You know, exactly. so yes. you can make it taste super yummy. We're just going to give you some ideas along the way. And we're not sharing our dressing recipes. No, are we? But we can. But we will. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so just comment yes. and tell us. Please. If you want specific ones or all of them, we'll get to that. We just didn't get it together yet. Right. But it will be an easy thing. It will. Yeah. I, I'm trying to find this. I can't. Are we up? Stephanie? <laughs> I, I don't have it that we're live, so. Okay. I can't find this in case anyone wants to talk to us. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking. Oh, okay. So, um, does that give me a okay. minute? No, no. It does not. Well, I'm, I'm not, so I can't. If you're commenting, then just keep commenting. <laughs> Stephanie will answer you. <laughs> because apparently my phone is doing the wrong thing. So the first salad, we've got a lot of salads and not much time. So mm -hmm. we're going to get right in. And the first salad that we're going to do, someone at my house does not like mayonnaise. So in the spirit of trying to find something to make it tuna salad uh, less mayonnaise-y, I used avocado. And I love that because the tuna and the avocado mix up so well. Oh, they do. And it yeah. just, and then some green onion in there. And then you're just gonna take that and put it on top of your beautiful salad greens. Yum. So it's this delicious, that's good just by itself, by I the way. I know. That is delicious. And then, after that, oh, and by the way, let's talk tuna for a minute. Um, if you're going to do the canned tuna, then please get like the safe cash tuna, the guaranteed mercury free, mm -hmm. the certified, and the line pot. It just makes such a huge difference in the flavor and the safety. You don't want mercury right. in Absolutely. your tuna. We're and, already getting into many other places. You know, chicken of the sea or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah don't do Good that. Good suggestion, guys. Um, and we're going to do some beautiful hard-boiled eggs and put them right on top. And these are actually Scheffler's eggs. And yesterday was the first time ever that I made them and that I could actually feel them. Oh, so, so you must have I was them set I, for I got the, I got the trick. I got the trick if anyone wants to know the trick. Well, I think most people don't know why you can't do Scheffler's eggs normally. We should because tell them why. Because they're too fresh. Yes. It's mean? old eggs that peel. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes. So keep that in mind. So that's why your eggs from the grocery store peel up just fine because mm -hmm. they're old. Mm -hmm. um, and one of my favorite things, everybody knows how I love snap peas, <laughs> even though I've been told it's turtle food. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of bags of those that's in okay. my okay. I know. I just eat them all the time. And then just a few more green onions to top and then some delicious organic olives. Um, and wow. there that is, is huge. salad number one. I hope everybody's hungry tonight. I know. <laughs> I know. If anyone wants to come join us, <laughs> here we are. So there's salad number one. All right. Awesome. Woo. All right. I'm going to show you salad number two, my black bean roasted corn salad. Can I move over here or should I stay here? I'm going to move this out of the way. Oh, awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. So I got some organic frozen corn and I roasted it and it's easy to roast corn. You just uh, put a little bit of olive oil and salt in it and put in your, I have a great toaster oven and if you don't have one, I hope uh, you should get one because they're, so you don't have to turn on your big one in the summertime. But anyway, toast it until it's, it's actually a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Until it's golden brown. That way you're not tempted to use a microwave. Um, and when you <laughs> do roast corn, it gets nice and um, crispy, which I absolutely love it that way. All right, and I wanted to make it colorful, so we have some black beans. This is a good one to take as a side dish anywhere. Uh, to when somebody's having a cookout. Oh, that's don't delicious. Know. We're making a small one here, but you can make this huge, of course. Mm -hmm. Avocado, because Yum. 
It goes good on everything, everything. right? Yes. And later you're going to show them how to open yes, an avocado. Yes, that's one of my favorite right? things in the world to do. Oh, it, oh, I'm wine bottles and avocados. Oh, <laughs> who knew? It's just my thing. <laughs> yeah. So, and you know, you can use any color on this, but I chose orange in my pepper just oh, because. It's so pretty. Yeah, we just want to make it colorful because I think mm -hmm. that people like to go for food that looks pretty. Absolutely. You know, it's even gorgeous. kids, if they think they're not going to like it, they're going to start picking off the peppers because they like peppers. Then they mm -hmm. might eat nice an avocado. Sweet. Yep. You know, and yes. then the corn, and they're going to realize that they mm. like it more than they thought. Yes. And I have uh, Jen found me some fresh cilantro, mm -hmm. which reminds me, um, thinking about what you're going to plant this summer, some organic herbs. I think that cilantro should be on your list. Uh, some people think it overtakes your whole backyard, but <laughs> if you can just put it into a, a pot, yes. a nice big pot. Yes. That's, um, I have feta here somewhere that I would put on. Here it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll reach a plant. Okay. And what other herbs would do you like to plant that you? I, I love basil. Eat? Sage is one of my favorites. I just love sage. Anytime I do turkey burgers, I'll throw sage in there, and oh, so awesome. I love that one. Yep. Um, basil, mint. I love mint. Mint too. I'll oh, plant mint. Mint just and plant makes me basil. happy. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And Kevin's been doing great. At, like I'm squeezing some fresh lime on here. Oh, yum. And. I made a, um, like it's a fresh lime turmeric dressing. And it will just, lime it's a little turmeric. bit, oh, let me smell. A little bit sweet. Um, oh, that smells Yeah, good. I use some honey in it. Mmm, that, oh, that does smell good, delicious. Doesn't it? And I, I'm not going to pour it on yet. Should I pour it on? Yeah, I'll pour it on. Oh, and it's nice and golden. It is oh, beautiful. This is yummy. So if you want that recipe, let us know. But I would serve it with fresh limes on it. And uh, people will just smell it and go, mm, I get that whole bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's we're saying good. that we're making them hungry. So good. <laughs> we're making you hungry for good, healthy food yeah. that you will eat all summer long. Yeah. Um, so the next one is one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> I think I say that with every salad. <laughs> but we eat salad all the time. So this one is my apple uh, blue cheese. You can do it with pears when they're in season. But I got an organic Honeycrisp apple, and I sliced it up nice and thin. And then this really, really matters. It's got to be mm -hmm. the best blue cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be of such good quality. This is actually the St. Agar, okay. A-G-U-R, St. Agar blue cheese. And it is some of the best I have ever tasted. I do have and a little fear of the ones that are pre-crumbled in yes. the containers. I don't like that. It looks that. like the blue on top of it is mold. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like real mold. I mean, it's like, it is mold. But, I know. You know, it's yes. not that kind of mold. Right. <laughs> and it uh, doesn't stick to your fingers like this. When it sticks to your fingers, I know. It's, it's so it's better. sticky. And I think and, that's a good thing. And I'm going to turn around and not let anybody see me looking at my fingers in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> While you do your next salad, I'm just going to go, huh? You brought this salad to us when we barely knew each other. And you came That's over to our right. house. Oh my goodness, how funny. I remember you showing up with that and like, oh, a friend that shows up with this is a true friend indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what's happened. So, yes. and these are some health hut dried cherries. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some delicious pecans. And normally I would roast them. Yeah. Just to bring out that, you know, really toasted, beautiful, warm flavor of those. And must do a little bit of red onion yeah, and this is awesome and yeah I have red onion in one of mine as well but not a red onion fan but I, I <laughs> picked huge. them away yeah not huge but just a but few some people really on are. top yeah. yeah and it you, and if you soak color. them a little bit first and then dry them they're not quite as pungent I didn't know that and another thing if you're cutting onions and it's making you cry, mm -hmm. have a lit candle there while you're cutting your onions. Oh. And that takes the sulfuric acid out so it's not affecting your eyes. So it's hmm. a fun never fact. Never heard that one. Is it true about the bread in your mouth? I never tried Oh, it. I've not heard that. Okay, if you put bread in your mouth, you're not supposed to cry too. So. Oh, interesting. You know, well, I we'll have to try it sometime. Yeah. Oh, you toasted some again. pumpkin seeds too. I did. Look at this. There's like chewy things and sweet things yes. and crunchy things. It things. is a. Do you want um, some help? I'm not doing anything. No, I'm good. I'll get you a <laughs> <paper> <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm okay. really. I'm gonna lick this off. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then wash my hands as soon as I'm done. And then all you do 
is drizzle some balsamic vinegar. I don't even do any oil on this. I just do straight balsamic and that's it. And oh, then wow. this one is done and beautiful. So yum. See, your friends are gonna like to see you show up with that mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move things a little bit. I didn't move mine, I'm sorry. I am a space hog. I'm gonna make a watermelon salad now. Where's your kitchen? You're allowed. Okay. Thanks for your patience, everybody. So, this one is a perfect summer salad because watermelon will be out and strawberries will be out. And I'd like to tell you that strawberries should be on this. And I ordered them, and Lauren hasn't gotten here with them, so no, no strawberries on this salad. But Aww. let me get um, something to put the watermelon. Never mind. I'm gonna use my fingers. Okay. So. I'm sorry, Rachel Birchler, uh, she said sage is great with cheese, berries, and chocolate. Ooh. That sounds delicious. Oh, and my. Absolutely. I can't wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sounds... Yes, it does. Near and dear to my heart already. Okay, I wanted to um, say that when I have heavy greens like this, sometimes before I put the stuff on top... I massage, especially in that one over there, I massage the dressing into mm -hmm. it, especially if it's a thicker dressing, because otherwise some people just don't like greens without, Yes, you know. But when you do that, that changes the texture. It does. And yes. it's still just as healthy. It's oh, just yes. changing that texture and cutting it very small too is oh, also yes. very helpful. It is. That's what I found. It is. That's what... Um, the Java Hut, sometimes they make them too big, so we're, we're keep telling them that. <laughs> we're like, bring those up. Yeah, make them, make them smaller, make them smaller. Okay, so I have some tomatoes for this. This one's, and again, put your strawberries on it. And this one, sometimes I put croutons on, but I have a lot of gluten-free people with me today, so I toasted some walnuts to put on it. Because I like something crunchy on all my salads. I think that we yes. can figure that out about each other. Absolutely. We both do. Yeah. So I think we have a question about where we're getting our greens. Um, I get my organic greens at Aldi. I do too. Yeah. I, I love do. going in Aldi. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a great organic section. That's mm -hmm. where I get them. So it, I. In the summer. <laughs> Farmer's market. I get mine. We get a local. And I wanted to mention the CSA. That's right. We have Cherry Valley Organic that start. We're going to be posting that soon that mm -hmm. we're starting sign up. Sign sure. up. Yep. And so that's Tons where all great mine greens come from there. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yep. They have a lot of great produce. Yep. And I think that they're growing what they have too. Yes. So it'll even be more right. so. But when it's out of season around here, all these yeah, is a great too. option. Me and too. inexpensive. Yes. Exactly. And they have a lot of they have a lot of good options. They I do. think so. Yes. Okay, some some feta on that. And then this dressing. All right, this is a honey cinnamon. Because the cinnamon goes so good with, oh, the, with the watermelon. Oh, yes. yum. Don't want to smell that one. Oh, my gosh. That mm. is and just I will delicious. share all these with you. Um, but that is the one. I'm not going to pour it on yet. But that is the one I would go on that. And I would put star sliced strawberries on top. And I have served this at a lot of places. Yes. And people have loved this one. Absolutely love it. All right. You're up. All right. So here is a nice hearty dinner salad that you can make as big as you want and i think earlier in the week uh, maybe just yesterday stephanie posted uh my turkey taco meat and i don't ever use seasoning packets and it's so easy to do your meat that way it is chili powder and paprika if you can get smoked paprika oh that's so good but cumin and coriander and oregano and all those wonderful herbs and spices and so then you are just going to take that turkey taco you can use grass-fed beef oh, I'm gonna take your avocado spoon. <laughs> awesome. um, grass-fed beef I like turkey because then we're not getting so much red meat uh, in our okay. diet so sure. I just really like that um, spread that over here and then we don't even need any salad dressing on this one because you can use salsa and sour cream. Yum. <laughs> yum. Oh, yum. And then use, use different vegetables in, in your salads, ones that you've never used before. Maybe you've seen one of these before, maybe mm. not. It is a jicama. I was thinking it was a... Something I can do with a sport. With a baseball. <laughs> no. Do you peel that? Yes. Okay. This is it. 
All right. This is the jicama Ooh, peeled. I want to taste one Absolutely. of those. Absolutely. And it's crunchy and fresh and delicious. And mm. it is so different. And so, and a great source of prebiotic fiber. Oh, that's great. So, great for your kids yes. to be eating. Yes. And they won't even exactly. know that they're eating something like that. Over Christmas, we were in Florida and our grandkids, mm -hmm. they had never seen it before. I'm like, try it. And they were like back over and over and over oh, again. Yeah. You, and I, you know, you just. I can see my grandkids new. just eating that. Yeah. That. Yes. Yep. Beautiful red and yellow peppers on here. And then, of course, on your taco salad, you got to do some green onions because that's yeah. just what goes with the taco. Forgive my plastic bags. I said half salad will travel, so <laughs> <laughs> I have plastic bags everywhere. And yeah. there is your turkey taco salad. All right. And you would put the sour cream and the salsa yep, like on each right plate? right on top. Organic yes. Valley sour cream. Everybody dishes it out. Late July salsa. Put it right on top. There's your dressing. That is great for like buffet. Yep. That is awesome. Awesome. Are we going fast enough? Nope. Okay then. <laughs> okay. <Speed> up. <laughs> uh, while I'm pulling all my stuff over, let me think. I wanted to say, what are some uh, utensils you can't do without in the kitchen? Because I have a couple. Okay. Scissors. I think every young girl should have scissors. Mm -hmm. Pair because, kitchen scissors. because you can use them for everything. Yes. Um, I forgot to say something about my black bean salad, and that's that. Um, in the dressing, I called for fresh lime juice, and anytime I'm squeezing fresh lime juice into a dressing, I also put some of the peel in. And that is uh, another. A rasp. Here it is. Thank yep. you. I was looking for this. This is another kitchen utensil that's important. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about giving, <laughs> who wants a huge one, right? But minor. So if you don't have one of these and you really want it, one of mine, I'll give it away. Mm -hmm. These are br like brand that new. That is an awesome tool. Yeah. That's so fantastic. I'll, I'll think yes. about it. Like how much we do? Like they have to share our video and ask for it? Yeah. Okay. There yeah. You go. Share the video and ask. And we'll pick a name. There <laughs> you go. Okay. Um, um, would you say it's faster? Okay. This is my, <laughs> what salad is this? It's a chickpea artichoke <laughs> quinoa salad. Um, so, and I'm using uh, quinoa because uh, we have gluten-free-ers here again. Yep. But you can use like uh, little pastas in here too mm -hmm. instead. Yep. But, okay. Quinoa is so, so good in a salad. Yes. Oh my gosh. And it's a great source of protein. And you can cook it on Sunday and use it Monday and Tuesday yep. and Wednesday and Thursday. Yes. Saute it with vegetables mm -hmm. one day. You just put it, it on your so salad versatile. another day. Yep. Eat it for breakfast with maple syrup another day. Yep. Okay. So my chickpeas. I roasted these uh, with a little garlic and olive oil and they are crunchy and yummy. It looks like you're waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some artichokes. And what I did with these is I roasted them and I chopped, I'm sorry, I drained them and chopped them and I added some lemon juice and olive oh, oil yum. to them to give some flavor to them. Oh, that's delicious. I'm going to, I would normally chop these. I was going to do it in front of you <laughs> with my scissors <laughs> to tell you how Ooh. important scissors are. But, but uh, how convenient is that to do that with scissors? Because yes, then you can get it in nice small little sewer. pieces and yes. just get it all through. So this is yep. mint and mm, see, this is why you have to raise mint. Because it makes your salad oh, taste amazing. That just makes me so happy. Amazing. That smell just makes me so happy. Okay, I'm going to put some microgreens on it. Willie's microgreens. Yeah. We just and I made a lemon vinaigrette over there. Mm, there you go, ma'am. So another like honey lemon vinaigrette that I would pour on this. And this is delicious, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's like a mint, lime, lemony taste to it. Yes. So. Amazing. All right. All right. Next is BLT salads. So in case you don't know how to cut an avocado, you take your knife and you hit the center of it and you go all the way around. Now you don't need the knife anymore for a minute. Then you twist it and ta-da! Oh, oh, that's a lovely thing when they pop out. And after. then this is my favorite part. What? <laughs> so that's awesome. I will finish cutting up the avocado for later. But this salad is the bacon, lettuce, and tomato salad. Ooh, now you're talking to a man. Yes. So yeah. 
BLT, of course. Here's the L. Here's the T. Got the tomatoes on there. Rochelle asked if, you know, we have to put up all the recipes for these. Yes. Because she had customers and, and didn't get to get, see all of them. Oh. But then she said, feel free to bring me some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really, I believe her. Say, Stop here after you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You should have told her to do that. That's right. Your scissors would really come in handy right now. Yes. But that's okay. And that is, We're just, just so I'm so tearing you know, that is how I can make this. Yes. I do cut it with yep. scissors. It is. It's that's just so, so nice and easy. That's how I do easy. red and yellow peppers. Mm -hmm. It's how I do all my herbs. It, it's very nice and convenient. Yes. So, and then just imagine the avocados going on here. And I know, a little more red onion. <laughs> it's just so pretty. But maybe when you soak them, like, yeah, it just takes out some of the bite. Mm -hmm. So, and then Here's a nice more layout. eggs. Nothing goes better with bacon than eggs, right? Yum. <laughs> I know what dressing would be good on that. I have a homemade ranch dressing. That's what I was going to say. Yep. It's ranch. And I that'll give me a chance to talk about mine, too, in case they want our ranch recipes. Absolutely. I had to make my ranch recipe because it doesn't go on any of my salads tonight, but my daughter's coming this weekend, Bailey, and she asked me to make it. And mine is bacon ranch, actually. Oh, nice. Well, mine uh -huh. is just plain ranch. Oh, yours so, is thicker than yeah. mine. I like I it. Just, How do you get it that thick? It's organic valley sour cream, a little bit of buttermilk, a little bit of champagne vinegar, and then um, the seasonings and spices. And I think we both we wanted to tell you that you don't need to use packets that have all those artificial no packets no dressing make them. it yourself make it yourself really those dressings i made five of them this morning yeah. when i got up i yes. thought you know this it comes together do. so fast it does and i know you have kids but put out your blender food processor and just have your recipes in front of you make a bunch and you can you know put the name of it on it in your fridge and you're ready oh, to yeah. go for you know, exactly for like the whole week yes, yes absolutely. absolutely okay my turn yep I can't work over here, right? Yep. No. Okay, go over there. We can take this stuff. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I'll help you. Okay, thank you. You know, we don't have that camera, big crew of people that like pick up stuff. Did you ever notice that the, the cooks on TV actually throw things on the floor? I'm like, who's picking that up? You know what happens <laughs> Not to you. Not them. <laughs> you know what happens <laughs> if you throw stuff on the floor in my house, like, Drive me crazy, but you let me throw you you threw stuff all over me in your kitchen, so you're not as picky as I am. I uh, yes, no sweet hubby said he's not picking it up. Oh, he's not picking it up. <laughs> okay, okay. So I know we all like to go out and order beet salads, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So I thought, I well, and I often make one at home, but I, um, this is my recipe for my beet salad, but. I didn't go get beets, so I brought home beet crystals, and I'm going to put those on today because I actually love those as well. Oh, they're so, so yummy. This is candied ginger slices, and we have those at the store. They're organic ginger slices, and I love them. Um, I know not everybody are ginger fans, but in with beets, it's delicious. Yes. And these. And the curry cashews. Curry cashews. Any kind of toasted cashews mm. go beautiful on this salad, but these ones are just very special. Sunday, Sunday. They're delicious. <laughs> yes. All right. And... I'm going to put my beet crystals on there and That's some beautiful. goat cheese. And I'm going to use my fingers. Now this is a, a salad not for everybody. Like my man wouldn't eat. Doesn't <laughs> love goat cheese. He doesn't love <laughs> not the, you know beets yeah. and everything. Um, so for this one, would you like me to open that? <laughs> yeah, it is a smell that one. It is a peanut dressing with cilantro in it. Um, and it is quite yummy too. That's the one I was talking about. It's thicker. And for these ones, I like to like massage it into the greens a little bit. Oh, that's so delicious. doesn't that? And that there's fresh lime so in there too. Anytime you add fresh lime or fresh herbs, oh, it just brightens up everything. Yeah, so it just much. makes it smell yep. better. Mm, mm, okay, put it there. And I can put it on later. Right. Or you can put it on yep. now. I'll let you do that. Okay, beautiful. So that's that one. And if that's it had gorgeous. the big red beets in it, it would even be more. Oh colorful. yeah, it would be so pretty. Yes, cool. and rainbow beets too. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful, too. Yeah. And beets are easy. All you can do is throw them in some boiling water for about oh. 20 minutes and then peel, peel them, them and cut them. And they're ready. ready to go. Oh, yes. they're just delicious. Yeah, I agree. Just like sugar. Yes. And oh, agree. So good. All, All right, right. wash my hands. My last salad. Okay. Again, we have a, a main meal salad. So 
for those of you who are gluten free, I'm going to crash around a little bit here. Um, sometimes you want a burger and you just can't <laughs> not have a burger. So you can put a burger on your salad. These are Asian style um, inspired burgers and I always make my burgers with a panade. Ooh. Usually a panade is a paste of bread and milk. Mm -hmm. And then you put your seasonings and so that the burgers can get cooked all the way through and they never dry out. Ooh. But being gluten free, we use oats and coconut milk for our panade. We use oats in our meatballs and have for years. It's yes. a family tradition. It is Italian so tradition. good. Yeah. I didn't know it was it's, a German one too. <laughs> it's not German. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's just gluten free. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but then you can put the brags and the ginger and the garlic and all that in the panade mm -hmm. and then it gets all through the burgers. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to set idea. these burgers on top here. And so this is like a three serving salad. But I also made a toasted sesame. You want to open that? That's a toasted sesame uh, dressing with you know, oh, toasted sesame oil is just Phenomenal. Oh, and it's just rice vinegar and Bragg's and toasted sesame oil and Udo's. Oh, Udo's that's oil. awesome. Yep. See so how easy so it is healthy to for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm just putting some snap peas on here. I'm going to add some jicama. You could do whatever you want on I mean, here. Tomatoes, cheese. Yes, some people, absolutely. I mean, cheese for sure. Oh, some yes, definitely. Do. That'd be Kevin Miller. And, He'd want it on it. And, you know, all of these salads can have cheese. Yes. And right. it's just your preference. Be creative and do it however you want. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's what this is all about. If we inspire you to be creative, that's what we're about. Yep. Yep. Well, well, we were going to make one where we throw... Uh, often when we go to work... <laughs> Everything. We, we bring a salad that has... I roasted some veg, some uh, broccoli. Mm -hmm. We throw pumpkin seeds. We throw tomatoes. Everything left over, like yep. all this stuff left over. I put it in my fridge and I'd make yep. salads with it. You know, for the yeah, next day. Make, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So don't forget that you can do that too. It doesn't have to be perfect, and other people will love that one yes. as well. They will. Everything yep. but the kitchen sink. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Our verse today. Yes. Yeah. Since it's Holy Week, is John three sixteen. Oh. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall never perish, but have eternal life. God is filling up eternity with people who are crazy about him, mm -hmm. because he's crazy about us. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I want to mention something. Can you, we chose the name for the winner. Yes. That's one thing we wanted to mention. Our um, our winner for the um, the basket, it worked. Um, it the, has um, kind products Kind bars and then the little kids' hand sanitizer and the cute things over there yeah. is Amanda Whitmore. So, congratulations, Amanda, Amanda, congratulations. Mm -hmm. You are the kind winner. <laughs> and she's leaving us soon, so I hope she yes. actually hasn't left. I hope she comes in and picks that yes. up before she leaves. I, she but. said she would come in and visit us before she left. Okay, so. all right. And thanks, you guys. The, the The way to win those baskets is to come in and talk and just put something on the index card inside the store about yep. what you've learned from the show or how goofy our show but our, whatever you want to say. <laughs> whatever you want to message us about. <laughs> yes, and put it in the basket, and, um, and we draw a name uh, once a month for those. Mm -hmm. So... And we have four shows coming up in April, so make sure you join us every Tuesday night in April. Yep. All right. Thanks, Happy guys. Happy Easter, everyone. Yep. We love have you a great all. week. <laughs>